What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. So I've just had a recent update to Studio One version 4.5, and I've been kind of digging underneath the hood and getting into some of the new macro pages that were created specifically for working with MIDI. And I found one that's really, really cool and something that I'm gonna be using all the time. So I've got a really simple piano part that we've laid out here. Just a nice chord voicings, really, really simple. So if I was laying this out and trying to flesh out a track in this context, the first thing that I would be doing, besides maybe adding a beat or something like that, would be I would be looking for an instrument that would complement this piano, and I'd be looking to do something a little bit different that works in contrast, but in a really nice way. So I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but what a lot of people would do is they would quite simply just borrow the instrument part or the MIDI region from the piano, and then we would drag it down here. Now I've got a note effects on. Let's just have a quick listen to this. Okay, so this is just a pad playing the exact same chord voicings as the piano. We listen to them together. So the first thing I would think of is say, what can I do that's different with this that would give this a variation to the piano? Because I don't just wanna duplicate the MIDI and play an exact duplicate with a different instrument. So let's open this up. Now the first thing that I would probably consider doing is moving this up an octave or down an octave, depending on the instrument and the range and depending on the arrangement and the production, a certain octave might work better for this particular instrument. So if I take that into account, my usual thing to do would be to do a select all and use shift up or shift down to move this up an octave. But if we're working with the new macros, so let's click this macro option over here and in the pages, we have the option of music editing and music creation. Let's focus on music creation for now. Now, the first one that I wanna take a look at is, let me just zoom this down a little bit. We have the option to do octave up or octave down in one click when we're open with the music creation page. So where I would usually do this with shortcuts, boom, one click, now I'm up one octave. So for this particular instrument, that works a little bit better. So that's a nice addition, but it isn't anything that really changes the way that I work. But these two over here, chord up and chord down, this is pretty awesome. Because what I usually end up doing is trying to search for a different voicing. So I'll end up moving some of these notes around until I find something that's working well. So essentially I'm looking for a different voicing of the same chord. But check this out. If I choose the chord up option, so now I have this. Versus the exact same chords. Now when you combine that with something like an arpeggiator, so I've got a basic two octave range with 16th notes and this is just stepping up and down. Let's listen to this now. We're moving up to a different inversion of the chord. So when you play chords, if you started at middle C on a piano, you have like a C major triad, you could move up to the next voicing, and the voicing after that, you can move up or down. From my understanding of playing with this, that's essentially what this is doing. Now I could also move down if I wanted to. So I really love this because this is automating a process that I was already doing. I was essentially borrowing the MIDI information and then trying to change some of these notes, but I can just click this chord up and I'm moving to a different variation of this chord. And if I'm using a different instrument to accent or help my arrangement in some way, I can switch between different octaves and moving the chord up or chord down. And then in no time, you can essentially flesh out an arrangement or an idea that really works. So I just brought in some drums. These are from F9 Audio. Uh, the guys over there, they do awesome work. This is just a basic 909 kit that they put out one day on a free 909 day. And I've just dragged in some drum loops.
So this is just a way to get a variation of MIDI. If you're doing anything where you're layering or stacking different instruments and you wanna kinda try something different, but maybe you don't wanna have the piano or your pads doing the exact same voicing, all you have to do is just use this chord up and chord down, and you can use the octave up, octave down as well. And this is in the music creation tab. So there's a lot of stuff for create notes and, and randomize and thin out. There's tons of stuff, and Gregor B did an amazing video on that. But for me, this option over here, uh, octave up, octave down, is available in terms of a one-click option, but it's the chord up and chord down that's really going to change the way that I'm working in Studio One henceforth. I think it's a really, really cool option. It saves me having to mess around and do things one by one, and it's simply one click. Now, the only thing I have noticed is on some of these macros, you have to make sure that you don't have anything selected ahead of time. So if I want it to apply to the all of the notes within the instrument part, then I would deselect everything first. But I could, for example, just take this one chord and go chord up, and now I'm moving the voicing of just that one. Maybe I want to go uh, down on this, and select them again, and down again. Maybe this one I want to go up. Whoops, we'll go octave back down and chord up. And then maybe this one I want to go chord down. So just a ton of flexibility, and this is super easy to do. And this is automating a process that I was already doing before, but I find that this is really, really cool to be able to just highlight some notes and say, I want a different voicing. Let me use chord up or chord down. Or if I want the whole thing, the whole entire part to have a different voicing, I can just use that chord up, we'll undo, deselect everything or chord down, and that will give me a different voicing. And that's really useful if I'm borrowing the MIDI or the instrument part from another track that I've already created. So. Chord up and chord down. Really awesome feature that I found in 4.5. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.